name is Rachel and I'm going to be your tour guide for the stars tonight. So we're going to take a look at a very unique constellation tonight. Did you know that there's actually a unicorn in the night sky? Well there is and its name is Monoceros. Our unicorn friend can be kind of shy and difficult to spot in the night sky. So you want to make sure that the moon is not up and you're far away from any type of extra light like street lights or porch lights or any other type of light. Monoceros does not like light and will hide if there is any around. Monoceros is the Latin term for unicorn. Our unicorn happens to fall on our celestial equator. Now what's the celestial equator? Well, I am glad you asked. The Earth has an imaginary line that wraps all the way around the very middle. This is our equator. There are 13 countries that happen to fall on our equator. Some of them are Ecuador, the very top of Brazil, Indonesia, Kenya, and Uganda. Those are just a few. Now they are on our equator, and if you were to extend that equator out into space, it becomes our celestial equator. There are constellations that fall on this line, and if you were to view them from these countries, they would pass directly above your head at night. I live in Texas, which is part of the United States, which is also part of North America. So which hemisphere do you think I live in? The Northern Hemisphere or the Southern Hemisphere? If you guessed Northern Hemisphere, then you are correct and good job. If you live in the Northern Hemisphere like I do, then you're going to need to face the southern direction to find our unicorn friend, Monocero. This constellation is visible during the winter months and early spring, but keep in mind that it is pretty difficult to see. We will need the help of some of our wintertime constellations to find Monocero. Constellations like Orion, Canis Major, and Canis Minor. I have some very helpful videos on my channel if you do not know how to locate Orion, Canis Major, or Canis Minor in the night sky. Now once we have found our bright wintertime constellations, we want to look for the fuzzy patch that runs in between Canis Major and Canis Minor. This is our Milky Way, and a long time ago when people did not have TV, video games, cell phones, or stuff like that to keep them entertained, they would watch the skies and create stories. My favorite stories come from the Chinese culture. They viewed the fuzzy patch of light that is the Milky Way as a river in the night sky. On this river, between the two dogs and to the left of Orion, we have our unicorn, Monoceros. Most people depict this constellation as having seven stars. If you use your imagination, you can see his front legs, his back legs, and even his one horn to make him a unicorn. Now keep in mind that this is a rather challenging constellation to see in the night sky, especially if you live in the city or the moon is out. Monoceros is not actually tied to any myths like the constellation Orion or Leo. A Dutch astronomer, Petrus Blanchus, first notated the constellation in 1612. Even though this constellation is not extremely bright in the night sky, it does have quite a few deep space gems. There is the open star cluster Messier 50, also called NGC 2323. We also have the Christmas tree cluster and the cone nebula. There are many more, but my favorite happens to be the rosette nebula because it looks like a rose. I hope you had a lot of fun learning about Monoceros, and I hope you're able to go outside on a dark, clear night and find our unicorn friend for yourself. Thank you guys so much for checking out my videos, and don't forget to like and subscribe down below so that you can see more of my constellation videos. Bye!